today we've got a hickory smoked pork picnic done on the Yoder Loaded Wichita, guys. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Todd, and this is Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. We're glad that you can spend a little bit of time in your day to join us. So what we've got here is a pork picnic. Now, from what I understand, because I've never cooked one of these before, is that this is part of the shoulder of the pig that's way up high and it includes the upper part of the you know, leg, arm. You know, do they have arms? And it tends to be what they consider more of the white meat of the pig, whereas the pork shoulders and stuff tend to be a little bit more down on the darker side of meat, I think. But anyway, a very inexpensive piece of meat, but you can make this thing taste so good, guys. So what I wanted to do, since it's white meat, is inject it. Now, I didn't have any specific injection laying around, and I wanted to try something new onion soup to the rescue. Now I strain the onion soup and then I cut it with a little bit of water and then I put it in my injector or put it in a cup and pull it into the uh, syringe and I kind of went around injecting here and, and you know you, you tend to see that piece of meat kind of fluff up a little bit because you're injecting that fluid. I ended up bending a couple needles because I, I think I, was, I hit the bone a couple times but take your time go around and uh, inject it. Now you can inject before or after the rub, you know, that's your preference. Uh, I did it in this case before I decided to rub it. Now, how are we gonna rub it? Well, first I'm gonna take a cheapo yellow mustard, smear the whole thing down with it, including the skin. Now there's a lot of skin still left on this pork picnic, but that's okay, it's gonna go skin side down. And then I took some Killer Hogs Hot Barbecue Rub, and I generously applied that all over the thing, and then I just let it sit there while I went outside and fired up the odor. Now, if you watched my last video, I showed you the kind of wood that I've been using lately. It's hickory splits that I'm getting commercially out of a big box store. It works pretty good on the Yoder Wichita sized smoker. You might find some other kind of wood that you like. More, more power to you. So this was gonna be a long cook, probably eight or nine hours. So while I was in the Yoder, I wanted to keep track of those temperatures. Now, in comes the Grillaholics wireless barbecue thermometer. It's got a base station with a handy little pocket-sized um, remote you can take with you. It's uh, fully functional. It has manual plus auto settings. It has an alarm feature. It has a really nice long uh, probe. And it was just right for the probe port that I installed in my Yoder Loaded Wichita. I'll leave a video up here for you guys for that uh, how-to. I installed that right here. Now, I'm a Grillaholics affiliate. So if you guys wanna go check out your own, I'm gonna give you 20% off. If you follow the link down in the description here, use discount, discount code GREENHORN, and I got all kinds of cool stuff too. So the temperature I was going for today was between 250 and 275. A Little bit higher than what I did with the ribs on my last video. Of course, I'll leave another link to the ribs video right here. And the reason I'm going with 250, 275, really nothing more than to try something a little bit different. Plus it's a little bit of a leaner meat, not as much fat to render. So it probably doesn't need as much time to cook. But you know, again, that's me kind of guessing here. So once that fire was pretty steady, nice and blue smoke, not smoky, sooty smoke guys, don't do that to yourself. Nice blue smoke and the temperature is steady and you got your rhythm going down, I put the pork picnic on there. I kind of orient it toward the left, toward the exit end of the smoker. That area works well for me. I also used a water pan just to normalize the cooking chamber. It, it tends to make the heat a little bit more even for me. So about two hours into the cook, the color and the bark setup started to look really nice. Now I didn't expect to get much of a bark here with this hickory wood. I just, I'm not seeing a lot of bark in some of the stuff I've been cooking lately. So I really didn't care because we were gonna end up pulling this apart anyway. So the bark was just starting to get set up, but not quite where I wanted it. So I let it go for probably another and a half hour. And then I started spritzing. Now I was spritzing with a apple cider vinegar water mix about every 20 to 30 minutes or so. And nothing too exotic here. Four hours in, it was looking really nice. I really liked the direction this pork picnic was going. The color was nice and golden brown. It was smelling like bacon, guys. The skin wasn't getting black char like you've heard and seen in other people's cooks with this type of meat. 
it was actually looking really, really nice. So basically for the next few hours, all I had to do is just maintain that fire, keeping the temperature right around 250 to 275. Now with these stick burners, guys, it's really hard to nail a specific temperature and let it coast like that. You end up really having an, a variation in temperature, sometimes as much as 25 degrees or so. So go for something in the middle, knowing that you might go plus or minus, you know, 10 or 15 or 20 degrees, guys. That's really not the end of the world, guys, as long as you have a nice steady temperature of the meat that's slowly getting warmer and warmer. What you don't want is to go away for a few hours, let that smoker get cold, then you've really screwed up your cook. So once the pork picnic got to about 165 and I was very happy with the color and the bark that I did get, I decided to use foil wrap here, guys. So I used two pieces of foil crisscrossed like a star and then I pulled out my secret ingredient, guys, not so secret anymore, but pork fat, guys. I got this stuff at Whole Foods, a little bit pricey, but it's very tasty, guys. So that's all I put inside the boat with the pork, it was just some melted down pork fat, wrapped it up really tight. And this time, guys, I went with the oven, 300 degrees, and that's purely to save wood, because at this point, it's BTU is BTU, guys, as I always say save that wood at least around here you know i don't want to be spending a lot of money on wood and then you could put in your oven watch tv hang out in your house and you know some parts of the country might be snowing right now so it's okay to pierce that foil when you're doing this and i'm using the instant read thermometer that i have and i'm just kind of going through kind of feeling it and when it feels just right guys it's done now i might check the temperature and if the temperatures you know in the 200 205 range great but I've had pork definitely that's been probe tender at less temperatures. In fact, with a pork picnic, you may not need to go all the way up to 205 because it's so lean. All right, guys, and all we had to do is rest it up for a few moments and eat it. Now, we didn't let it rest for a long time. We were hungry and we wanted to make some tacos. So Sassy and I unwrapped that bad boy and look at this, guys. It just came out so good. We drizzled in some of the juices from the pork fat and oh my God, it was so good. Now the onion soup water mix as an injection didn't really seem to change the color or anything. There wasn't any staining that I could tell. And the onion really wasn't noticeable. So I'm really not sure what kind of effect I had with that style of injection, but it was definitely moist. And what I gotta say about hickory, guys, is it's not overpowering. It's a very pleasant wood, guys. So if you haven't tried smoking with hickory, I highly recommend it. I think Sassy and I were both very pleased with the results. It was tasty. We're gonna make tacos with this and all kinds of other dishes, guys. It's great for lefties and pulled pork sandwiches. Sky's the limit. And this is a pretty inexpensive piece of meat, guys. I think we paid 10 or 12 bucks for this. And that would easily feed a family of four or six. So guys, thanks for watching. Again, check the description down for links to these, to these fine Grillaholics products for a discount code right now 20% off be sure to subscribe and we'll see you later